it's easy to add video and audio into Blackboard. We'll start with audio. In order to add audio to your course, you would go to Build Content, Audio. Here we would name our audio file. And we would either browse our computer or your course if the audio was already uploaded. I go ahead and browse my computer, find audio, and click on Open. You could auto start it, but we'll warn you, auto starting it can be a little difficult as if a student sitting in a computer lab here and doesn't realize it's going to auto start, there's a potential that they could interrupt the whole lab. So be cautious if you're going to use that. You then can include a transcript. A transcript is a great idea. That way our students who have hearing issues will still be able to know what the audio lecture said. You can set your standard options. Then you can preview or you can click Submit. I'm going to click on Submit. Let's look at our audio and student view. We go to our lessons. We will see that our audio is here. Because of the type of audio, we don't have a player. But if we click on the MP3, it'll play for us in a separate window. It's a great advantage over Angel where they had to always download the audio. So we know many of us use YouTube videos. YouTube videos are a great way to incorporate things such as TED Talks into your course. I've gone ahead and gone to YouTube and I've located the TED Talk I want to use. I'm going to move down to where I see Share. I'm going to right click on it and copy it. I can easily add this into my Blackboard course. To do this, I would go to Build Content and I can either go to Video or I can go to Mashups and go to YouTube Video. I'm going to just click on Regular Video. Here I can name the TED Talk. I would go ahead and I would choose where to find the file. I'm going to go to Browse Mashups and click on YouTube Video. Here in the search window, I can just paste that web address link and click on Go. And my video will appear. If I click Select, I will see my video will come up. I could put a description in the video if I want it. I could choose if the video is going to be a thumbnail, which is a little item they click on and appears larger on their screen, or if I want to embed it. I'm going to choose Thumbnail for now to show you. And I can choose if I want a link or any YouTube information. I could add an attachment, and I can set my permissions. Let's go ahead and preview the video. As a thumbnail, this is what your student will see. They would click on Watch Video, and it'll get a little larger in front of their screen. To exit it, they would click on the X. Maybe I decide I want to embed that instead of have a thumbnail that they have to exit. I could go to the back. Instead of thumbnail, I can go to my mashup options and choose embed video. I'm going to click on submit. Now you will see our video is embedded for the students to watch. You might be working with a system where you have embed code and it's not listed in the mashup. Let me show you what you would do with that. For that, we would go ahead and we would create a blank page, very similar to how we did it in Angel. And I'm going to name this video Example of an embedded video. Here, just like we did in Angel, we want to use the HTML editor. In Blackboard, it's actually labeled HTML code view. So click on that. You will see our window will open. Then on whatever site we have our video that we have the embed code, we'd go to it, we'd copy our embed code, we'd go back to the HTML, and we'd paste the embed code, and choose Update. Now you'll see the yellow box of where our video is. You could put text above it, just like we did on the last option. 
You can add an attachment and set any options and click on Submit. I'm going to just minimize some of these that way we can see it. So now if we go to Student View, we go to Lessons, we can see that our video we embedded is open right here. Or I'm sorry, our video we added from YouTube is right here. Our embedded video, if we click on it, we will see just like an angel, a page opens with our embedded video that we could click on to watch. There's one final option for adding a video, though we don't recommend it as it can make your classes really large. That is actually uploading a video to your course. I am going to show you how to do it in case you would absolutely have to do it, though we encourage you to put your videos on Ensemble or YouTube if possible. We would do that by going to Build Content, click on Video. Here we would name our video. We would choose Browse My Computer. You would go ahead and you would locate the video you want to upload. You'll see the type of video will come up and the options that you can set and your standard options. We could preview it or click on Submit. So this is a bit different than Angel. The video won't actually show here because of the QuickTime player, but if we click on it, Hi Angie, so I'm in your court. it'll open on a separate window. Instead of making the student download it like it did an Angel, they would just close out of that window and they'd be back in your class. Those are the options for adding audio and video into your Blackboard course.